Hi, my name is Christopher Hart, and today I'd like to show you how to draw a simple character, but a fun character, a fun-loving character. It's an otter, but not just any otter. I want to show you how to draw a standing otter, because standing cartoon animals are always fun, and they're easy. Let's start with basic shapes, and we'll keep it simple throughout, but what we do is we just mold it a little bit as we go. So, let's start with a squarish oval. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I hear people say to me, my oval wasn't, wasn't right. No, your oval is right. Your character is just a little different from mine, that's all. And we will have this almost teardrop shape for the, for the body underneath it. So you're just going over the big shapes first. Then we're going to bring out the legs so, the ha so he has fat hips. Don't tell him I said that. Okay, like this, and we'll lower the bottom of the body right here. Give him some black feet. And now we can erase this part here. I'm even gonna go down a little further here. Bring the tummy way down here. So you see all these, all these shapes are just places to start. We mold them, we change them as we go. So that's why I'm saying if you say, well, mine isn't right, well, it doesn't have to be right. Change it, it's fine. Okay, here is a center line. Here is the eye line. I'm going to keep the eye line low because he's got such a big schnozzola here. Look at this. This, this guy really, he can smell seafood miles away. Okay, um, now let's give him sort of smallish eyes. Anybody know why I'm giving him small eyes? I don't want to compete with the nose. He's got a big nose, and that won't look funny if the eyes are also big. So you have to always think about what you're prioritizing when you're drawing. Okay, so here are his eyes, his little beady like that. High eyebrows, and let's give him a nice big smile. Split lip, which means you get that little line right here. And the smile goes to the line and back on both sides. Now we have to give him some big cheeks. We have to exaggerate that smile. It can't just stay this way. So now we, we're starting to change the basic shape we started with, right? Coming in further here, so we can make the cheeks come out like that. Now little ears for the otter. And let's give him one arm in his pocket. Don't ask. He's got a pocket. Um, and we have a marking over here. But he's going to be thinking about something. So let's put his fingers up here and his forearm. And he's, hmm, he's wondering. Give him some big chop, choppers right there. I'm going to slim him down just a little bit so that he doesn't look to someone like a beaver character. I keep the legs fat. See how down here we're keeping those legs fat? And we're going to give him the kind of otter, big, furry tail here, which is used for navigation. All right, now let me finish that up for us. Okay, very careful with the eyes, I hope. I want to draw the bridge of the nose also right here. That's a very important defining feature on all animals. I'll put a shine in the nose there and draw around it. Okay. A cute little smile. And long teeth. The line between them. A little bit of whiskers. Here are the cheeks right here. And 
Now let's put just some, just black it in some lines for the fingers. That's kind of a cute look on certain animals. And for the feet as well. And the marking, kind of an oval. You can make it a circle. You can make it sort of a square, not an exact square. A fussy tail here. And small ears in this guy. A little tuft on top. All right. Just get rid of some of those sketch marks. Here is your cartoon otter. I hope you enjoyed that and that you'll join me for some more character designs by subscribing to my channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.